going. Excuse my son, <laughs> if you hear him in the background, obviously upset with somebody, not letting him have something. <clears throat> but um, welcome to this presentation of uh, NCAA 14 League One action coming to you. Coach Short here, um, head coach of the Fresno State Bulldogs in League One. Kentucky Wildcats in next level, and the Miami Red Hawks in top level dynasty. Uh, today we're getting some League One action, so it'll be the Fresno State Bulldogs. Hi, Bubby. We have a special guest here today. You say hi. Say hi. No? Okay. But uh, Fresno State, fresh off a big win over UNLV last week to keep them alive in the conference hunt um, as you see the West looking pretty pitiful right now record wise um, Fresno State still has to play Nevada in the regular season I don't remember which week uh, here pretty soon actually and now I have another special guest crying what can I do for you To the construction site? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well you're not going without him, so and you don't need to go to the construction site. Can we go to the park? If they want to go to the park, sure. No, but you only have until seven, so no, it's not a lot of time. Huh? Recording. If Florida wants to go, sure, but if you don't want to go, then I can't make him take you anywhere. Sorry about that. <laughs> this is the joy of children. So um, as we're saying here, obviously Fresno State's still alive in the hunt, the needing San Diego State, who's played pretty well in conference play, going to need them to lose two more conference games, um, either between, they yeah, have their four there left, UNLV, Wyoming, San Jose State, Utah State, so really need them to lose two of those ones, and Fresno State went out, and they can see themselves squeak into the Mountain West Conference Championship. Uh, other than that, if that doesn't happen, there's no shot. They have to have San Diego State lose twice, uh, but we'll we'll see there. Um, time will only tell if that can happen. So, fingers crossed, hoping that somebody can beat San Diego State twice. Obviously, if you see their three and five, but if you look at their overall offense, defense, uh, pretty damn good team there. You know, V two as well. So we'll see if it can happen. I mean, it could happen. You never know. But like I said, fingers crossed, hoping that, hoping for the best, hoping that San Diego State can get beat two more times um, and Fresno State can maybe see their way into the Mountain West Conference Championship with Coach Short's first year here at the school. Um, I'll go ahead and knock that out after, right after this game. But since I got the stream live, we'll go ahead and get this game going. Rolling, and then we'll go in there and after I cut the stream, go in there and tweak some recruiting because uh, brought in an 85 overall kicker, so that's good. I think it's better than the one I have now. I already have one, and I don't even think he's older. I just he sucks. <laughs> so, um, and I'm not having that many players interested. Um, I actually took what I could get um, coming in later. And again, I can play about that. Kickers are important in this game. Could come down needing a winning, you know, winning field goal, and that big kicker with the big leg can be a difference maker. So 
um, pretty happy about that commit. So, can't wait to have him on campus and be better than the guy I have now. Fresno State played one hell of a game last week. So Coach Short's hoping his team can do the same, build off the momentum they had last week because the two weeks prior got demolished by Duke, a really solid Duke team, and the loss to rival San Diego State. Uh, both of them big-time losses. So really, really hoping to have a better to, or not have a better showing. Had a good showing last week. Really hoping to kind of build off the showing we had last week against UNLV and to continue the success and uh, continue to try to push to have a uh, good finish at the end of the year. Uh, if we can win out, be seven and five. Even if we can't make it to the bowl or to the conference championship, a seven and five record will not. I will not be upset with that. Uh, saying this is the first year at Fresno State, kind of learning the team. Get a feel for them, find out what's working for me, what's not. And uh, I feel like I kind of found those pieces that work and what doesn't work. So just need to really improve defensively, as you can see. Worst in points allowed, second worst in total yardage, um, 120th there in pass, and 94th in rushing. So really horrible defense. Really has been a very tail or big, huge reason why the Bulldogs have struggled. So hoping that we can kind of turn that around and uh, continue to finish strong here. And wow, Hawaii kind of hurt with the injury bug there. Left guard with the, the season. Right outside linebacker with is questionable. Not going to have their starting... They're, they don't have from their center to the all the way to the left. It looks like they do not have any of them. So that could be an issue for them possibly. Uh, might have to try to attack that left side of the line. So uh, we'll see. But I'm uh, going to go ahead and cut it or uh, go ahead and say goodbye for now. I'll be back to you guys at the end of the game. Uh, but let's get ready for some Bulldogs football. NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Mountain West action just about set to go. Players wrapping up warm-ups. Kickoff coming up. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half.
this one is going to be dynamite as these two schools provide one of the best rivalries in all of college football. Let's head down to the coin toss now. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Hawaii will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He's to the 20. At the 30. And down he goes at the 44. Fresno State's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Solid five-yard pickup there on the halfback option. That brings up second and five. Second down and five. Ball in the 49. Down he goes, right around the 42-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Complete. He's got room. Tackle made around the 31-yard line. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Brought down at the 29-yard line. He fires, and it falls incomplete. You know, he had his receiver open. He just put too much on that football. He's got to find a little bit more touch next time. From the 29-yard line, it's third down. it to his wide receiver and he's got another one and they make the stop at the 12. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. Tackle around the 10 yard line. A yard maybe two on the carry. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Makes the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. Checking in on the Mountain West, which is becoming a high powered offensive conference. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. And for Chambers, he finishes the game with a handful of touchdowns, five of them on the day. After this performance, only one way to describe him 
flat void dog warrior. The Cowboys take it by three. Elsewhere, the Spartans had the final spot in the poll at number 25. Unfortunately, that didn't last long. It felt as if the game rested on every play. Ohio State gets the win by four. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. The Bulldogs Looks like they're ready for the kick. Number four, back to the turn. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Scrambling around. It's on the ground. Scoops up the loose ball. Inside the 30. He's tackled at the 29. They work hard and they got the turnover. Uh, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. Touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. As you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Second down, 10 to go. Ball in the 29. Fresno State is up by a touchdown. tries to buy some time and they push him out at the 27-yard line the quarterback in the gun with five receivers gets it out to the wide and he's got the first and he will score on the extra point. It was a quick three-play, 29-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So our score, 14-0. Wilson has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think I can count on one hand the last time I saw this good a defensive performance where you had a chance for a shutout. Are you kidding me in college football today with the spread and the running quarterbacks and all the speed and space? These guys got a chance to put up a shutout. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. with the run and he's taken down behind the line. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play. Here it comes the might want to reassess Here it comes the Here it comes the Y'all don't really worry like that. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 21. Come on. the tight end, and he's tackled at the 33. Good outside run there.
under pressure. Steps up. He lets it go. Nice grab on the play. And they finally knock him out at the 33-yard line. There's so little room for air on most throws, so when you can toss one up like that for a big completion, it can boost your confidence. Inside the 10. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Throws it to cover, it just picked off. Well, that's exactly what this defensive coordinator wanted to see. Somebody come up with a big play right when it looked like this team might be able to get back in the game and come up with the big interception and maintain the momentum here in the first half. Zips it to the tight end. He's knocked out of bounds around the 37 yard line. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. First down. From their own 37 yard line, it's first down. He's taken down at the 38. Bring him down at the 40. Game of 22 on the play. That That'll bring it into the first quarter of action. The Bulldogs lead it by two touchdowns. at the 30 and he tackles him hard at the 26 yard line there's a flag down and it looks like this one's coming back clipping offense that one's gonna put him way Still back you just can't block a player from behind like that or it's gonna cost you from the 42 yard line first down pressure just throws this one away this is definitely going to be pass interference however i'm not sure who they're going to call it up offense well, that penalty drives them back and they're shooting themselves in the foot here well if they could just keep their concentration they'll avoid situations like that so first down once again but a long ways to go after that penalty at the 41-yard line. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. So that's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. Steps out of bounds at the 46. You know what? 
After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Initially, it was called a catch, but now we're going to find out for sure if he at least had one foot in and possession of the ball before he went out of bounds. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after the review, the verdict is that it was no catch. They missed it on the field, but that was a bang-bang play. The important thing is they got the call right. Here's the eighth play of the series. They come out in a five-wide set. They just didn't get the snap off in time. Here's the call. Delay of game, offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Down. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. Third and even longer now after the penalty. Dumps it complete over the middle. And he's taken down around the 41-yard line. About five yards on the screen. They executed the screen play well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. Russell is the punter. He gets hit out of bounds at the 39. Nice yardage on the run back. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Quarterback here, even though he came up with a sack, he here comes the, he's also guilty here comes of the, getting a better pick. Here comes the, the y'all don't really hurt it like that. Oh, yeah. Here right. comes the, oh, oh, no. here oh, comes the, oh, oh, no. here comes the, here comes the, here comes the, bring the intangibles to the table, and that means recognizing a blitz and affecting the offensive line and making the right call to adjust the protection. That time, he didn't do that. So the sack makes this a second and long. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes. Right around the 36-yard line. Let's go. That brings up third and 12. Hey, pick your game up. Go Mike 51. Mike 51. Hey, hey, He's going left. Incomplete pass. That's exactly how they drew it up on the sideline. And now they get the ball back. That makes it fourth and 12. Puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he's taken down at the 23-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's to the 40, and he's brought down at the 49. That always stings the defense to give up a big running play like that. They don't want to give up big chunks of yards on the ground. First and 10, ball on the 49-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. Mims gets six yards on the carry. That'll make it second and four. Quick throw to the tight end. For the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Fresno State. <laughs>
incorporate this young player into their passing attack, and he couldn't have picked a better time to get him the ball. And doesn't it always seem like he just finds a way to get open? And he hits the PAT. A short three-play, 77-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. The score now, 21-0. Wilson looks ready to kick this one off. Number four sets a return. He's to the 20. Across the 30. He's taken down at the 33. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Down. He scrambled. Tackle around the 33-yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10. six-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Got a man. Watch out here. And they make the stop right around the 46-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up second and three. Hits him hard at the 46-yard line. Third down. Check 13. Check 13. Hey, watch screen. Watch screen. Watch screen. Hey, Brandon Yates. Heading for the corner. He's at the 30. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 17-yard line. Boy, is he playing at another level or what? He sure is. He's just breaking tackles left and right. Well, let's see if the third time's a charm down here in the red zone. Passes. Tight end's got another one. Tackle made at about the 11. Second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Flips it middle to a running back. And he's hit immediately. And that one goes for about five yards and first down. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. Let's go! And he's going to be sacked for a loss. The Warriors call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Here comes the, the snap count. Here comes the... Here comes the y'all don't really want it like no. yeah. Here comes the fool no. Here comes the fool no. Here comes the y'all don't really want it like Second down, goal to go. Ball on the eight. Three down, three down. 51 Mike. Mike 51. Yeah. 51. He's scrambling. And he's going to come up with a sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. So you stand here comes the. Here comes the. Here comes the. Y'all don't really worry like Here comes the. 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 Here comes
they come up to the line about nine yards away from the end zone. Strike to his receiver, no good. to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 28. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Personal foul. Clipping. Receiving team. So they'll move back after Still that costly down. penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. Under pressure, out of bounds, right around the 18-yard line. Five, maybe six yards there on the scramble. They're about four yards away here on second down. Around the 38 yard line. Number 37 on the tackle at the 38 yard line. First down. Hey, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Mike Sick, 33. 33. Good tackle there in space. Not a safe pass at all. Really tight coverage and not a lot of room. Credit the receiver with going after that one and hanging on. Whiteout makes the first down catch. Gain of 10 on the play. That makes it first and 10. First and ten. Ball on the 31. Three down, three down. Go nowhere. 22, go nowhere. Mike Sick, 32. And he's tackled around the 23-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Three down, three down. Hey, check my 33. Check my 33. Receiver and he dropped it. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. In the shotgun and five wide out. Makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Fresno State will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's in trouble. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 20. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Fresno State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Makes it first and goal. Here's play number 10 on the drive. 36, 36. Right, 
Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. Communication there. He makes the PAT. A nice 10 play, 89 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. And he's tackled at the 44. So far, a totally lopsided affair. We head to halftime. The Bulldogs lead 28-3. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. You know who I feel sorry for in that first half? Who? the poor production assistant on SportsCenter who's going to try to sift through all of those highlights and come out with the ones he's going to choose to try to make the SportsCenter top 10. Da -da -da, da -da -da. No, there there, there's definitely a, a lot to choose from, but that's what you like as a fan. I, I think the fans, they like that and enjoy that more than they like seeing great defense. They like seeing guys go up and make huge one-handed stabs and guys make big, long diving touchdown runs, and they like all that. So they like watching guys hurdle over guys. You see it all the time. So... I think the kids know that, too, and they're trying to do their best to always, you know, make a huge play and make a big explosive play and put a little cherry on top of that play so that they can be uh, maybe on one of those ESPN top plays. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Really a lopsided ball game as we're just about set to start the second half. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. Oh, what a hit. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. Hot hit! 10 19. Hot! Hot! They'll bring him down at the 41 yard line. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 41. He's taken down at the 49-yard line. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, it's a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Here comes the, here comes the, here comes the, y'all don't really want it like that, yeah. here comes the, no. here comes the, oh. here comes the, y'all don't really want it like back to return it. He was able to deaden that kick perfectly, and he gives them a long field to work with. 
both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Fresno State comes to the line holding that commanding lead. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. Call it a gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. From their own 29-yard line, first down. And he's taken down at the 31-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. That makes it second and eight. to about the 34-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Throws it in a hurry, and down he goes at the 49. Fourth with the tackle at the 49-yard line. First down. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. He's at the 40. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clipping. Offense. That one's going to put him way Still back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. So it's first down and an eternity. Fresno State up by a bunch. Rivers gets the ball, and they'll bring him down behind the line.18-yard line. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. Inside the ten. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Gain of 13 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. After a decent pickup, Mims comes away with five yards on the carry. That brings up second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the one. Touchdown, Bulldogs. A short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the ball. the PAT. A nine-play, 71-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Wilson has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. Oh, man, he took him down hard. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Receiving team. That's frustrating for a coach when you preach fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. 
Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Fires out to his receiver. Brought down at the 28-yard line. the stop right around the 36 yard line you can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers even when he's a little bit off target they can pull it in and make something happen caught and he steps out of bounds they get about four yards on the pass, and they'll pick up the first down. The corner was coming hard off the edge with a full head of steam. He got there just a little bit too late. He steps up at about the 43-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. it to his wide receiver and he's got another one. Tackle made around the 36 yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Mike Throws incomplete. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. This is the eighth play of this drive. Strike to the receiver. He's tackled right around the 10 yard line. Number 32 on the tackle at the 10 yard line. First down. A little toss across the middle. Touchdown, Warriors. Did that play ever develop nicely? You know, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese? Time to check in on what's going on in Las Vegas. Back and forth these two teams go, neither one giving an inch. We could be headed to a photo finish. The Rebels have the lead, 3-0. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Hawaii lines up for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 32. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Personal foul, clipping, receiving team. Clipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Looking for his man, incomplete. Edwards was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second down. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 15. Fresno State 
up by a big margin. They'll make the sack. Great penetration to get in there and sack the quarterback. For this offensive line, it must feel like they're going up against an avalanche on almost every play. This guy's putting up some really good pressure on him. That's three down and one to go. Fresno State's running away with it. The 27-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Not sure there's any hope for a comeback here in the fourth quarter, but Kirk and I are praying. Makes it to the 37. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. First and 10, ball on the 37-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice gain. Good gain by the tailback of about seven on the option play. That'll make it second and four. for this team. That'll bring up fourth and five. Russell is the punter. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Personal foul. Clipping. Receiving team. That one will put the offense in a hole. And they'll try down. to get some of that back on this upcoming play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 13. Very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Almost intercepted. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Third down. down and they've got about two yards to go. Now he's flushed and they got it. They simply have too much speed for this offensive line. Here comes the, too quick off the here comes the, here comes the, y'all don't really worry like that. Yeah. Here comes the, Ooh. no, here comes the, Ooh. no, here comes the, y'all don't Perry is the deep man awaiting the return. Perry fields it at the 46, heading for the corner. They'll bring him down to the 37-yard line. And for Johnson, he's had a great game catching the ball. Well, I don't think there's any question. He's getting the best right now of this group of defensive backs. You know, he's a tough matchup physically, one-on-one. -on -one. And he's got good hands. And he battles for every single throw that the quarterback puts up into the air. So, so far, so good for this receiver. His yards per catch average is very healthy. He'll get more opportunities on this drive if they decide to throw the ball. Obviously, they're in full control already. 
Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Fresno State looking to put this game away if they score here. Up the middle for a nice game. Mims gets six yards on the carry. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. Him hard at the 17. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Just a great job here by the defender of timing the hit and getting him down. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 17 yard line. He makes his way out to about the nine. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. First and goal. out to about the six-yard line. They're at the six. It's second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. point let's check in with reese davis in the studio time for an update from the mountain west conference and for colorado state they've lost two in a row the lobos take it easily a 20 point win all right thanks a lot reese everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff number four back deep to return excellent kick This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback for Fresno State. Their pass rush has really been impressive today, Kirk. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. They also gotten them to turn it over twice. This defense is still feeling the pressure of the passing game. Yeah, the secondary and linebackers aren't able to make a play at the point of catch a lot of times. This hasn't been the most scintillating game between these two familiar opponents, but even so, they'll still go full force. Well, late in the fourth quarter, this game has been over for a long time, and now we just want to get out of here like these two teams do. Nice grab on the play, and he's taken down around the 42-yard line. Hawaii's going to use their first time out of the half here. From their own 42-yard line, first down. to his receiver. He's taken down. That's the 49. The Warriors call a timeout. That's their second of the half. That makes it second and two. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds at the 46-yard line. the 46-yard line. First down. Complete. Brought down. Nothing doing. And a 
quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 24. performance by the Bulldogs first time under coach short getting a huge blowout win feels great especially in a rivalry on the road taking care of business uh, Hawaii record wise might not have the best records uh, they're down at the bottom as well as me as of right now well actually for us the state starting to move up but still rivalry game on the road you know that there's more tension more momentum more just a little bit more to the game. And Fresno State showed up and showed out today with that 42 to 10 win over Hawaii. So super proud of the way my team played. Uh, Comstock just <clears throat> pretty much on point today. And um, I believe it was Johnson just lighting it up through the air, making almost every single catch. A uh, big, huge game for him. Yeah, Isaiah Johnson, huge game for the junior wide receiver with the nine catches, 166 yards. They could not contain this man. They couldn't cover him. I mean, he was just on fire today. Just totally dominating them. Mims playing like he normally does. I uh, was three yards shy of 100, but he's been solid all season. And Comstock playing uh, pretty much like a madman these last two games. So uh, players are really stepping up defensively, man. I, I got to say, super happy of how my team played defensively. This has been the best game they've played all year. Now, give up 274 passing yards is not really that big of a deal, especially because um, towards the end, started kind of pull back on pressure a little bit and just stayed in coverage a little bit more um, just because of the big lead. But uh, pressure, I mean, six sacks today. I think it was six. I don't know if we got one more there at the end. Let me go ahead and double check that. I know for a fact it was six. Yeah, okay, so it was still six sacks. Uh, getting constant pressure, making the quarterback make decisions before he wanted to. Um, just kind of kept him rattled the whole game. So super happy about that. You know, 42% for third downs, two turnovers, got in the fumble, got the interception in the red zone. Uh, defense played big time today, and that's the first time, and I'm hoping that it can continue for the remainder of the season. But huge performance on the defense, been stepping up big time. Um, so finally think I might have found some things that work with this team and hope to continue that success hopefully that the uh, momentum we've been building the last two games continues on and can continue to finish out strong so fresno state now sitting at four and five four and two um in the mountain west i believe now we can see some scores around the country Big win for Bama there. Boise dominated UNLV. 
Ah, San Diego State wins, so that's a big one for them. I need them to lose. So there's only three games left. They have to lose two of those. If they can win their next one, they have to win the last two. And then if they win two more of those games, they lock it up. Will at least keep me out. Um, but if I beat everybody else I'm supposed to play, then I'd be the second place team right behind San Diego State. So still hoping and praying, fingers crossed there. I mean, Utah State looks like they could have had it, but fourth quarter crumbled with the 21 to nothing in the fourth. But nothing I can do about that. Uh, just only can keep hoping that somebody can beat them. But yeah, what a performance. Look at the time of possession. <laughs> Clearly on my side of the ball. Um, what a game. I mean, super happy how my team played. Uh, so, again, hopefully we can keep that rolling. Hopefully we can keep playing some good football here at Fresno State. But uh, that will do it for me. Got to finish up some recruiting, so I'm going to have to go ahead and cut this video. But, uh, yeah, Coach Short here signing out. Head coach of the Fresno State Bulldogs here in League One. Head coach of the Kentucky Wildcats in top or in uh, Next Level Dynasty. And head coach of the Miami Red Hawks in Top Level Dynasty. So that is all for me. Signing out. Thanks for watching.